1989, before the Western launch of the Mega Drive, Sega made a licensing deal with Disney. A young team at Sega's AM7 studio in Japan quickly started working on a Mickey Mouse title. The result was one of the most beloved platformers of that era, Castle of Illusion. Mickey is on the trail of the jealous witch Ms. Rebel, who's trapped Minnie in her Castle of Illusion. The castle holds many dangers, from a world full of toy soldiers to a giant study room where Mickey has to splash into a teacup and hop over bookworms. There are plenty of obstacles to overcome. Castle of Illusion was one of the first titles released for the Mega Drive, and before the arrival of Sonic the Hedgehog, perhaps the best platformer on the system. Mickey can defeat enemies with his bounce attack, or use items like apples as projectiles. The game has a total of five stages, each divided into at least three sections and a boss fight. They all have their own distinctive style, and the creative level design offers many surprises for the player. After defeating a boss or finishing a level, Mickey gets a rainbow gem as a reward. With all seven gems collected, the Rainbow Road opens the path to the final confrontation with Ms. Rebel. The game designers were clearly inspired by the early Disney movies, which shows in the art style and character designs. They also put extra effort into the animation of the mouse, resulting in more sprites than was common at the time. Overall, this charming game deserves to have its spot amongst the best Mega Drive platformers. Lead game designer Emiko Yamamoto continued to work on the spiritual sequels Quackshot as well as World of Illusion. The 1991 game Quackshot is an Indiana Jones inspired platform adventure featuring Donald Duck on his treasure hunt across the globe. Armed with his plunger gun, he makes his way through the wondrously crafted stages. However, certain items are required to progress further into the levels. You can select your destination at the world map, beginning with only three levels. But more are unlocked as the player progresses, and similarly to Castle of Illusion, it's a highly polished game. A year later, the Mega Drive saw the release of World of Illusion, which featured both Mickey and Donald, who were teleported into a magical realm full of mysticism and peril. You can play one of the two characters, both of which provide a slightly different gaming experience. You can also play with a friend in co-op mode. World of Illusion was the perfect game for young Mega Drive owners of the early 90s. Castle of Illusion and Quackshot were bundled together at the end of the console's lifespan. The same pack was also available on the Sega Saturn in Japan. The success of Castle of Illusion led to a port for Sega's 8-bit consoles, the Master System, and the Game Gear. Instead of a watered-down, simplified port, the game designers took the original concept and remade it into a game that suits the 8-bit consoles best. The basic gameplay formed the basis for the following 8-bit titles. Land of Illusion, in which the gameplay was further enhanced with adventure elements, and the medieval theme game Legend of Illusion, which was ported exclusively to the Master System in Brazil by a company known as Tech Toy. Castle of Illusion was the beginning of a fruitful relationship between Sega and Disney, which resulted in many classics no Mega Drive collection should be without. With the 2012 release of Power of Illusion for the 3DS, as well as the 2013 HD remake, the Illusion series continues to this day, introducing a whole new generation of gamers to the charm of the original Castle of Illusion. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy classic gaming documentaries like this one, consider checking out other videos such as Secret of Mana, Donkey Kong Country, and MSX Konami games. And if you're interested in both old and new gaming videos alike, check out youtube.com slash chasefaceshow, where I reminisce about classic Japanese games from my childhood and play new games that I think are top shelf material.